yo guys yo guys it's sages sages mike welcome back to my channel as you can see i'm in my room like i told you guys i'm not actually working for now so i'm just doing these videos in my room i'm still using this freaking mic someone said um, my voice quality is not that good but i think i will just be using this mic for now we we'll just be using the mic for now until i get a uh, some amount of money to get a quality mic so in uh, it, i don't even know what i'm about to say but it's like we have a video today you have one short important video today and i don't think you should miss it so in the, in the video today we will be talking about uh, we will be talking about i will be showing you how you can identify uh, sections in a mobile pcb you know we have a power section we have network section uh, this this and that i will be showing you how you can uh identify them very easily i think you want to know more about me that is why i can just turn around my camera then show you what i i was doing during the day here is my room so no work i'm just in my room then doing these things these are the phones that i opened today and tried checking and here is my school driver set i don't know why i'm showing you but i think i just have to i just have to since we are, you are my subscribers you are my followers you are my family and there is my laptop i use this this laptop to uh, edit my videos i use the laptop to do all the things that you see online so you need to stick into the video but i think it will be very helpful so here we go so here is the easiest way to identify uh, the power section and the ne network section in a mobile phone let's let's turn the pc upside down as you can see from the look of things you will see that it's been divided even though it's divided here there is no big difference this is the network section of the the this mobile pcb this is the mo uh, network section and this little section here is not the network section if you look at this other section you will see that there is no big capacitor here there is no bigger capacitor here there is no big coil the bigger chip that i use for uh, power management they are not here but when you come here it's still the network section but at least you will have to if you see these uh, diodes here you will see that it needs some certain amount a high amount of voltage so that it can supply the network section that is why you can only see but one or two diodes or bigger capacitors in the network section but when you come to a power section this little section here is a power section as you can see you will see a bigger this conductor you will see a, a thermistor thermistor resistor you will see bigger capacitors here so when you just look you will know because it deals with a high amount of voltage so when you turn here this is all about the power section this side here is all about the power section when you look here you will see that this is a power ic this is a power ic here when you look around you will see coils boost coils which are big you will see uh, you will see diodes you will see capacitors bigger capacitors things like that so it, well, this will be all about the video now you know that the network section does not deal with uh, the hi uh, high amount of voltage does not deal with high current and the power section deals with the bigger ICs the bigger chips like the capacitors the conductors will deal which deals with high amount of voltages so here will be the end of the video today and the next video I will be doing about you know Samsung phones are really hard in repairing their hardware are hard I will be explaining why Samsung phones have such hardware which is hard complicated and the hardware is really hard compared to the other phones i will be explaining that in the video the video will be short so make sure you will subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will get notified when i upload the video it will be helpful